what is up everyone welcome back to another video just want to take a break here from fishing back out with the aqua view today and i've uh, been getting a lot of questions about what this bucket's doing out here i mean most of you probably know that's my diy camera setup but a lot of questions about how it works can you show me a video so i wanted to make a video here i'll go ahead and we'll drill a couple holes we'll set it up and show you guys a cheap simple way to run your cameras without buying that expensive tripod so stay tuned step one drill a couple holes I like to keep, for my revolution, I like to keep about this close. The new HD camera, I found out, I, I push it back a little bit due to how it's zoomed in, but I like to keep them. You guys will get an idea how close you do them, but pop a second one for the camera. All right. Got our two holes right there. Go ahead and scoop these out. Three things you need. Camera, a styrofoam ball, as like so. And you can pick this up at your local craft store. I think I got a six pack of them at Joanne Fabrics for like five bucks. And a bucket, a five gallon bucket that you don't use anymore. So, or any bucket I should say would work. So those are your three things, camera, bucket, and styrofoam ball. What you wanna do is cut a slit in the center of the ball, about halfway deep right there, as you guys can see. And what that does is that actually runs the camera line through there. Then on your five gallon bucket here, I cut a hole at the top and your hole is obviously going to vary on the size of your camera. So bucket with a hole, styrofoam ball with a slit cut in, and now it's time to set it up. So I'll grab my camera here and like I said this works well with the micro cameras. You know the bigger cameras have a way bigger lens and I'm not sure if you can find a styrofoam ball big enough but if you can this would work as well. So what you're going to want to do is take your two holes, put the bucket over one of the holes, which covers the hole up too, so it actually has a double purpose. I like it because uh, it protects from anything falling down the hole. And then once that's covering up the hole, you take your camera, position it in whatever direction you want. I have it in the 90, so it's looking right at my bait. And you'll send that right down the center of the hole. And we'll drop that like so. And we'll turn this on. I'm just going to go ahead and feed it down the hole until we can see bottom. There we go. You guys see bottom down there? Oop, got lots of weeds. Look at that. All right, once you've located bottom, you're going to want to take your styrofoam ball that you have that slit cut in. Go ahead and run that camera cord nice and tight into that slit. So it looks like that. Drop that on the five gallon bucket. And you see it holds it in place. All right, I need to lift mine up a little bit. So then if you need to lift the camera up, you just pull right to about there. So once you got your bucket set up, your camera ran down and your ball secured on where you want it, you're gonna wanna go ahead and find your bait next. So go ahead and grab your rod and bait, send her down the hole. And what I'll do is I'll go until I hit bottom. So we'll send that down there. All right, once I hit bottom, I'll reel it up a little bit and I'll just start aggressively jigging. And then I'll take my hand here and I'll pan the camera. You guys can see a pan. I'll start looking for my jig. Oh, lucked out right away. There it is. So as you can see, there's my jig there. So I'll position that right to where I want it. That looks great. All right, and we're fishing. So just wanted to make a quick video here, guys. I can't take credit for this. I saw someone else do this online like five years ago and it's been working for me ever since. So I thought I would share it for those that are out there looking for options for tripods instead of spending 60 bucks on what's out there. This thing is virtually free if you have the supplies at home. So hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. If you like underwater footage, you're not going to want to miss out. I love doing it and we're going to be doing it all season long. Hopefully we're after some walleyes next weekend on Malax and then pike and bass in some of the local lakes. So stay tuned guys. It's going to be a good one and we'll see you back. Out for some early ice.